Probably, if you have been to a support group meeting for Parkinson's disease, you might have noticed that every person with Parkinson's looks a little bit different. Some people might have more tremors, some people might have more stiffness, some people need to use a walker or a wheelchair to come in, some people might be able to just come in and walk on their own. And some people with Parkinson's disease look fantastic, some people even doubt that they have Parkinson's, while others might look like they have more advanced or more complex Parkinson's disease. And I, I, I want to use this uh, opportunity to talk a little bit about the differences between the types of Parkinson's disease. So this is not about a typical Parkinson's or secondary Parkinsonism. We're talking about people with Parkinson's disease. So we have three general uh, types of Parkinson's that we talk about between movement disorders doctors. The first one is the tremor predominant Parkinson's disease. This is what most people are familiar with, right? The patient that is shaking in their hands, shaking in their legs. And uh, this is the kind of people that frequently we see on TV that they have Parkinson's disease. And uh, this is the type of Parkinson's that usually begins with the tremors. Eventually, people begin to notice the slowness and the stiffness, even though those symptoms are, were very likely there before the tremors were present. but it is when the uh, condition is brought to the attention of the doctor that we begin to notice the person having those symptoms. In my experience, 65 to 70% of the people with Parkinson's fall within this category of uh, tremor predominant Parkinson disease. And these are the patients that they have the typical tremor at rest. They take their carpidopa, lipodopa. These people usually show uh, good improvement. Uh, of their tremors and their uh, symptoms of Parkinson's disease, although you might find a uh, small group that have what we call a medication refractory tremor. And these are patients with the typical tremor of Parkinson's disease. However, the tremor is highly resistant to the usual dosages of medications that we use to treat Parkinson's disease. So these patients might end up going in the route of the deep brain stimulation surgery because that is usually very effective for that, but that is another video, right? However, let's go back to the type of Parkinson's and what do they mean? So people that typically have the tremor predominant Parkinson disease usually respond very well to the medicines. They have a robust benefit and, and, and they have a, a typically a long life with Parkinson's disease and they continue responding to the medicine. Obviously, the condition will continue progressing and there will be the, the usual complications of Parkinson's disease. Now, the second type of people that we see with Parkinson's is what we call the akinetic rigid type of Parkinson's disease. Akinetic means lack of movement or very slow movement and rigid means stiffness, right? And in those cases, these are patients that while they might have some tremors, the tremors are not that uh, pronounced. The tremors are typically slight. However, these people have more issues with uh, mobility, more issue with uh, stiffness. And it is my experience that these people tend to present a little bit earlier the, what we call the non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's, hallucinations, memory problems, uh, confusion, uh, and, and they require higher dosages of the medicine. And this is actually a more complex type of people with Parkinson's disease. So, you see how within Parkinson's disease itself, there might be some difference among this class of patients. And then probably the most complex type, which is the, the uh, most uh, rare here in the clinic is the uh, postural instability gait abnormality. These are people with Parkinson's disease that have very serious issues with walking and ambulation from the beginning, right? So typically people with Parkinson's disease, they take their, their medicines, they condition, progresses slowly over months uh, uh, to, to years. And after X amount of time, five, six, seven, eight years, they begin to show these problems with their ambulation. However, people with uh, uh, Parkinson's disease of this postural instability get abnormality type, they actually have uh, serious issues with their balance, serious issues with uh, uh, mobility. And this is a type of Parkinson that is quite uh, debilitating. Uh, as I mentioned, it is it is rare, it is not as frequent, and unfortunately, while these patients uh, demonstrate a response to uh, uh, levodopa when it comes to the tremor, stiffness, uh, and, 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 the, and the typical symptoms of Parkinson's, unfortunately, these issues with ambulation seems to be quite 
resistant. So, so, so now you see that not everybody with Parkinson's disease actually presents in the same manner. Everybody's a little bit different. That we have a phrase among neurologists that when you see a person with Parkinson's disease, you saw one person with Parkinson's disease because everybody's going to be a little bit different. And this is why, this is why when you go to the support group, you know, you might see another person that is doing well. You might go back to your doctor and tell them, hey, doctor, you know, I, I, I met a person, they're taking this medicine, they're doing very well. Um, and, but the doctor might tell you, you know what, I, I, that medicine might not be the best medication for you at this point. There might be some concern from your doctor about you, you, you using that medicine. It is because there are these multiple types of people with Parkinson's disease. And the way that they respond to the medicine sometimes can be a little bit different. And not only the way that they will respond to the medicine, but the potential for side effects might be different from, from one type of Parkinson's disease to the other. So now this is, this is actually more advanced Parkinson's, right? You know, this is more complex. This is why you go see a movement disorder specialist because the, that's, that's what we do. We try to sort out, you know, what group do you fit? And we try to figure out what are the best medications for you. And we try to figure out what are those symptoms that would indicate that your Parkinson's disease might be more complex, might be moving a little bit faster, so that we can avoid medicines that are going to aggravate those symptoms. I hope that you find this video uh, useful. Uh, please do not hesitate to uh, email us in the contact uh, icon uh, with any questions that you might have. I will be more than happy to go over them. And uh, if I don't have all the answers, I will find the person that will be able to provide the answers. Thank you.